Finding the right property deals online is getting harder. You have to hustle relentlessly and negotiate endlessly. Today I'm going to show you a framework of how to find great properties on Rightmove and Zoopla to make sure that your property hunting is more efficient and more productive. There are many ways to find properties and yes, the off-market deals are often the best with the best discounts and the easiest negotiations. When you're looking at houses online on Rightmove and Zoopla, they are often very competitive, which means that different buyers, investors, owner occupiers, are going to bid up the price higher and higher, which means that it's hard to find a really good deal but there are diamonds in the rough. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Matt. I work for a bank by day. I invest in property on the side. And on this channel, we explore all things money, finance, and property investing to help people lead a more financially savvy life. The framework that I've created is called the Diligence Deal Engine. And this is broken down into five S's, which includes searching, scrolling, a sneaky tip, sale prices, and sold prices. And this video will hopefully give you the confidence if you're not quite sure exactly what you should be searching for on right move, or if you've never even search before to really have a great framework to hit the ground running and make sure you are as efficient and productive as possible. I see so many people who scroll through right move endlessly for many hours and many days and don't really manage to get to the next step which is analyzing a deal and then going to a viewing to make an offer on that property. So first let's look at search criteria to understand what you should be putting into right move to display the right kind of properties and therefore return the right search results that come through when you're looking at properties. So I'm going to show you exactly what to search on right move and quickly finding a property that needs updating and a refurb. So we're on the right move homepage here. I'm going to use Liverpool as my example area. So let's look at for sale. And on this page, I'm going to do within one mile, the price range, probably maximum £90,000. So I want something that's under 100k really to then refurb. Minimum two bedrooms, property type a house, of course. And then I'm just going to click on find properties and see what comes up. So ooh, straight away, I'm going to have a look at that one in a brand new tab. There's a few on here, for example. So this one isn't too bad. It's not my taste, but there's laminate floors in there. The kitchen isn't too old. So here you're not really going to make much profit off the deal without even truly looking at it. I can tell that it's not a, a great deal. This one here, I'm going to look at this one because this looks like really, really good. So you've got the florally type horrible carpets in there. So let's look here. And okay, so it's £90,000. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. It's got old like mahogany wood in there. Awful carpets. The kitchen is grim. The bathroom is not too bad, but looks not, it doesn't, doesn't really look the best. So yeah, I think this could be a nice one. Um, and assuming there's nothing structural or anything massively wrong with it without doing any surveys or anything just yet, but at a glance, it works really well. So let's have a look. So we know it's £90,000 and then to look at a price of the area, and I'm also just gonna have a look at the map. I'll check where it is in a second. So let's have a look. Where is it in Liverpool? Okay, so it's not too far. I know the more popular areas are around here. So let's have a look at the price of the property and see what it says. So we just go to property sale history. Okay, so there's no history on it. Let's look at the market information. And, ooh, okay. So similar houses that are very close by, all within 0.5 miles, are all around 130, 140, it's 100 for that one. And they are quite similar houses. So that one's quite old. And yeah, they're all a little bit dated, but otherwise looking like a better condition than the other one. So this straight away, I can tell is gonna be a decent deal to start analyzing and looking at in more detail and really understanding, should I go and view it? Should I start making an offer on it once I've seen it? But this is a great example of what you should be looking for to then take further into analysis and then onto a viewing. And next is scrolling. It is a fine art and it's also an ancient history skill. And when you're going through Rightmove and there are hundreds and hundreds of results in terms of houses, you need to be sure of exactly what you should be searching for and looking for as you go through that list. Otherwise, you'll be looking at every single property and actually not really knowing which ones to then take further to analyze and especially to then go and view and then make offers on. Now, the thing that you should be looking for is something that I call the floral carpet flip. Now, this is where you're scrolling and you skip past all of the listings that have nice carpets, they have a nice kitchen put in there, they have a nice bathroom. 
and instead you need to be looking for those kind of properties where they've got their awful floral carpets and there's wooden paneling on the walls. You might be able to see polystyrene tiles on the ceiling and they're the kind of properties you're looking for because those are the ones that will typically be below market value where you can put in brand new carpets, a brand new lick of paint everywhere, a brand new bathroom, brand new kitchen and really uplift the value on the property without doing anything too major in terms of structural defects or any other bigger problems that might occur. So lesson one is look for any listings that have floral carpets and especially if you can see the bathroom and it's avocado or pink coloured then they are definitely good houses to be looking at in more detail, running the numbers and then booking a viewing for. Lesson two is also looking for listings where there are no inside photos whatsoever. Now this is done usually for auction properties and especially when the inside is an absolute tip and a normal owner occupier is not going to have any interest in this whatsoever. They want to see nice, fancy, flashy, wide angle photos. Whereas you as a property investor want to be looking at the ones where either they look very old and there's a lot of work needed or there's no photos on the inside because the competition will be far less because everyday buyers won't be interested in those listings. Next is the sneaky tip. Now, this is all about helping you understand the area where the house is. Now, some listings have the full address, including the postcode, whereas other listings on Rightmove don't. With the brand new web design, it's a little bit hit and miss. If you're looking at a listing where you can't work out the house number and you can't find the postcode, then all you have to do is go further down the page and go to house prices in that area, click on the little link, and then that will give you the postcode on the next page. So then you can search the area, you can look at crime statistics, the demographics and markup of the area, you can understand where the local schools are, and then begin to assess that property deal. So finding out the postcode, and especially the door number, is absolutely crucial. Now, the door number is a little bit harder, but you could type in the postcode, go onto Google Street View, and then zoom into the door, and then that's where you'll find typically there's a door number. The only time this doesn't work is if the front door doesn't have a door number on it, but otherwise you will find as much information as possible this way to then do your research on the street, on the house, and on the area overall. Next is getting to grips with the sale price. Now, there's a big difference between getting a property that is below market value and below asking price. These are two separate figures. For example, if you're looking through a right move listing and you see a house that is there for 100,000 pound and then you go to the estate agent, you say, I want to do a viewing, you look at it, you make an offer of 90,000 pound and then the seller very quickly accepts your offer. You've just got a property that is below asking price, but that doesn't mean it's below market value. If you would have done your homework and your research, you could have quickly found out that other houses on that street are actually going for 70,000 pound. So what you've just done is bought a house for 20,000 pounds more than what is the going rate for other houses on that particular street. So you can only truly find a below market value house when you understand the area and what those properties are selling for to then look at a refurb and take the refurb cost plus a bit of profit off the listing price. And that's what you should be going for when making offers to estate agents by explaining, this is the average price, this is the refurb cost, here's a bit of profit on top, and that's why my offer is £70,000 rather than £90,000, for example. And lastly, that leads me on to my next point, which is sold price. Now, you can do a separate search in Rightmove to really understand what are the sold prices in an area. Now, you could be looking at listings and saying, oh, you know, average houses on a particular street are selling for £70,000. But actually, when it comes to negotiating the deal and exchanging contracts, you want to be searching for actual sold houses to understand what the true prices are that they are going for. So you can do that on right move by going to the menu and searching by sold prices. And then this way, you'll have an accurate representation of what houses are really selling for, rather than just comparing asking prices on the listings and using that as your benchmark for property prices in the area. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring to get you to look a bit more efficiently and productively through right move to eventually analyze the right deals and then go and make some viewings. I'll be doing it at the end of 2020 where I'm spending three weeks looking at houses left, right and center, trying to find my very first flip deal to work on. So hopefully everything goes well. If you found this video useful, you can find loads of others just like this one just here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.